Hello and welcome to the Fix-It Shed. You can see I've got the Scots mower back up on the bench. So in the fall when I put this away, I did all the things you're supposed to do. I drained the gas out of it, I ran it until it was completely dry, and, and I put it away for the winter. Uh, when I got it out in the spring, so I tried to start it, it didn't want to start. I tried using starter fluid and it would run until the starter fluid burned off. So it's apparently not getting fuel through the carburetor again. So this carburetor was brand new last year. I did think maybe when I ran it out of fuel, possibly it sucked up some dirt and clogged the carburetor. So I'm gonna check that out. Uh, I did drain the fuel out of it since then and the fuel came out clear. I didn't see any dirt or residue. Um, so we're gonna pull the carburetor off and see what we can find. Alright, so I've already done this once with the camera not rolling, but let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. So it looks pretty clean. There was a little bit of grit in the bottom of this and I just took a, you know, a shop towel and wiped it out so it was good and clean. So it seems like maybe there was a little bit of dirt in there. And this is your main jet, those little, that little hole there, little hole there. And actually, if you look at it, I, it doesn't look clear, but I can't tell if it's just wet or if there's actually, if there's something clogging it. Let me take this washer off. And... If I, I just have a bristle, this is just a bristle from a brush. There's one there. There's one there. So, and then you, you're, you know, the jet hole is going to be down inside there. This is probably a little bit too thick for that. Yeah. Oh, nope, that fits in there. Just. So let's make sure these are clear. Alright. And... I'm going to take a little carb spray and just... A little carb cleaner and I'm just going to spray these out. Now I can see through. So, and I'm going to take, I'm going to go over to the air compressor and I'm just going to blow some air in there to make sure that the air is going through it. All right. So now you can, let's see. I, don't, I think you can see through the hole right there. So you can see through. So that's clear. Uh, I blew some air in and cleared out that jet. So at the end of the season, when I ran it dry, it may have picked up some dirt from the bottom. So that's, that might have been what caused this. I probably could have done this without pulling the carburetor off of the lawnmower. All right, let's put it back on and see if she'll start.
All right, so it looks like I probably could have solved that a little bit easier just by removing the, the jet from the beginning and cleaning that out and putting it back in. So it looks like the answer was that it did get some dirt in it from at the end of the season last year when I ran the last of the gas out of it. After the spring when it wouldn't start, I drained all the gas out of it. I did look at the gas and it looked clean, uh, but it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to remove that fuel tank and swish it around and rinse it out. But we'll save that for another video. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care.